Any regrets? <laughs> you know, it's funny the way the, the world works. You know, if, if I had stayed on the show uh, and been there during season six and shot and all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't have met Nadia. You know? Wow. And I wouldn't be getting married and I wouldn't be at this place in my life where I feel really sort of in line with what I, I'm meant to be doing personally and professionally. Daniel Lissing announced his departure from When Calls the Heart nearly two years ago, and now he's busy working on a new show and planning his wedding. More on that later, but first, the actor is reflecting on his decision and revealing to E.T. the heartwarming reason why he has no regrets. No regrets at all. I mean, how can I look at my future wife and say, oh, I should have stayed on this job? She's my life, you know, mm -hmm. like that's my personal life. Mm -hmm. And that's exponentially more important to me than, than a job. But with that said, there's no doubt Daniel is still a mega hardy. This Sunday, February 23rd, is the season seven premiere of When Calls the Woo! Heart. I see, Woo! I love to see you cheering. It's, it's <laughs> so clear that you're still such a fan of the show. Um, of course. Will you be tuning in this weekend? I, I will. They're doing a great job. Do you think about the direction the show is going in? I think it's great. You know, they're keeping it positive. Yeah. Uh, you know, after, uh, you know, Jack Jack's death, it was a really dramatic season. They've brought in two love interests mm -hmm. for Aaron's character. And they, I mean, they're going great. The ratings are fantastic. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm so happy that the show is doing so well, it will continue to do well. Is there still part of you that misses going to that set every day? Do you feel nostalgic? Sure, you know, sometimes I really miss living in Vancouver, getting picked up by my driver, Uncle Gary. It is a family. Yeah. And that aspect of things I really miss. I love all the cast, the people at Hallmark. My time with Hallmark was nothing but positive and I'm truly grateful. I love reading the Hardys theories about possible ways, <laughs> if you are down, that you could come back. Right. And there's one theory I really love that someone wrote that um, in a dream where Elizabeth is kind of getting closer to making a decision between one of the two suitors. Uh -huh. In this dream, Jack comes to her and either gives her some advice or some guidance or gives him gives his blessing to her. Uh -huh. I mean, would you be down to come back in a oh, flashback that would be or a so cameo? so much fun. Would it? Of yeah. Of course. I mean, just to go up there and see everyone again. Yeah, have that opportunity. Yeah, I yeah. can see my old horse, you know, <laughs> Taylor. Give you him miss a Taylor? Of course. <laughs> I mean, that was such a good part of the job, you know, I, look, you know, if, if Hallmark called me for anything, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be there. You're there in You know, they were there for me for five years. So, yeah. of course, you know, I love those guys. So, yeah, that's anytime. So a lot of fans feel conflicted and they can't seem to really let go of the Jack and Elizabeth dynamic. Right. What is your message? I mean, you played Jack, so you know where his mind is at. Do you sure. think he would want her to move on? and find love with someone new. Jack and Elizabeth, Aaron and I, had serious chemistry with, with our work. We really connected to these characters. Uh, we, we built this show from day one together. And of course, it's gotta be, it's gotta be difficult letting go of that. Uh, you know, when you first fall in love with a television show, you kinda, it's, it's hard to accept change that comes with that, with that show. But I will say, Got to move on, guys. <laughs> There's a couple of great actors right there. I think it's you know time to embrace that uh, that storyline. Saying that, I'm so grateful that you you love uh, Jack so much. So can we set the record straight? Would Jack give his blessing to Elizabeth to move on? Yeah, I, I think that when when he passed and, and Elizabeth read his letter. He, he owes you to find love again. Mm -hmm. Find love again. Because that's all it is, you know, at the end of the day. If he's not going to be there, there's no point her dwelling on that. Yeah. She needs to move on. She has to find, well, I know she's happy in her own life and being a mom. That's it. But you I know, believe if she can't find companionship with someone else, it would be like the cherry on top. Number one, you don't need a man to make you happy. 
Mm. Let's just be clear about that. Preach. All right? Mm -hmm. You gotta be happy in here first. Elizabeth is, um, you know, the man thing, it's just a cherry on top. There you go. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. never got a chance to work with your on-screen son, but yeah. how does it feel to see baby Jack on screen? It's so funny, you know, like uh, I know that that um, little twins, I, I, I don't know them. I've never met them. They're so cute. Which is, yeah, right? I see these videos yeah. that Aaron, what do you think? Aaron posts. They're little cuties. Yeah. Yeah, totally. But little baby Jack, you know? I mean, I, I'm sure the, the character, Jack, would feel my son. Oh, I would have loved to have seen you know? scenes between <laughs> the two of you. I mean, that would have been really cute. Yeah. You know, just, just having that, uh, a good, good dad role model. From a Mountie police officer to an actor playing a cop on TV, you can now catch Dan on ABC's The Rookie. So, uh, what are you up to this weekend? The private training thing. Right, yeah, uh, this weekend could work. Great, but also, we should eat. Can't learn on an empty stomach. That's so exciting, very uh, like different role from Jack Thornton on When Calls the Heart mm -hmm. this time. I'm playing a character named Sterling Freeman in a gay relationship with a police officer. And, and he's an that, actor. And, he, and, and, he's, and, and he's an actor as well. Yes. So, uh, you know, doing these kind of different roles um, is always like exciting to me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It kind of broadens my uh, acting chops, so to speak. He's an actor and, you know, I kind of like you know, teasing actors a little bit, so right. I kind of amp up. Right, 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 you kind of like exaggerate a little. A little you get to bit. have fun with it. You get to have fun with it, yeah. exactly. Professional life is going great, so is Dan's personal life. He and his fiance Nadia are getting married. We're just loving life together. We're wedding planning now as well, well which I thought was gonna be a nightmare, by the way. Well, what, what has been your experience so far? I love wedding planning. Dan! I uh, know! A groom! A I, true groom! No, I'm telling you, it is so much fun. 